In recent weeks, there's been a lot of coverage of some pretty high profile inmate escapes. 27 First News reporter Jero Ricciuti spoke with those who run two of this area's jails to see what they're doing to prevent that from happening here. Despite a number of high profile inmate escapes the last six weeks, one local sheriff says he's not concerned about it happening here. I don't want to say it's impossible, but it's highly improbable that anyone could ever get out of this facility. The sheriff tells us the Trumbull County Jail has technology to keep an eye on inmates and ensure deputies are safe and doing their jobs, but he says there are also added security measures that are required by law at all jails in Ohio. We check the jail, I mean, every cell, every 45 minutes, we have rovers who go around. Uh, we do head counts. Still, escapes do happen. This week, four inmates got out of a prison in Mississippi. Before that, there were the two convicted murderers who broke out of a facility in upstate New York, as well as the recent escape of a notorious drug lord from a lockup in Mexico. There's always some type of a breakdown in security. Mahoning County Sheriff Jerry Green tells me lack of staff and overcrowding are among the key problems. I think one common factor that you see with many of these jail breaks is the inmates or the criminals always seem to have some sort of help from inside. Green was a reserve deputy in 1991 when six inmates escaped from the old county jail on Boardman Street, among them killer Willie Flip Williams. The sheriff admits workers probably weren't paying attention to their jobs. They actually dug through a wall in that case and went up through a chute and uh, there, there would have been a lot of banging noises going on to get through that wall and a lot of digging. Still, Green, like his counterpart in Warren, says the jails now have cameras to watch all areas. But he says supervisors also must watch over their employees to be sure none are getting too close to any of the inmates. He tells me standard policy is to terminate workers who violate those rules. Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.